Hello, this is O.S. Hawkins, and what a joy it is for me to be able to share with you today my love and appreciation for Zig Ziglar. <clears throat> you know, if we were playing a word association game and somebody said president, somebody else might say George Washington. Somebody say Dallas Cowboys, somebody would well say Tom Landry. When we hear that word encourager, all of us think about Zig Ziglar. Zig, you're, you're our Barnabas. I love what's said of him in Acts 11 when it says, he saw the grace of God and was glad, and he was a good man. Uh, a good name is to be cherished above all else, and, and Zig, that's certainly what your name is. It is synonymous with everything that's good and everything that's godly, and we thank the Lord for you. I have so many memories I could share today of those times down in Fort Lauderdale years ago uh, when you would be down there, we'd be playing golf with, with some of those New York Yankees that were in our church down there. I remember one time we were playing golf with Tommy John and, and someone else, and you teed off on the first hole there at Lago Mar, and you hit that ball about 230 yards right down the middle of the fairway. You turned around to us on the, on the tee and said, I, I, I'm not going to hit one like that the rest of the day. We got in the golf court, and I said, Zig, we're, we're trying to pump these guys up. Season's about to start. You're Mr. Positive Thinking, and then you say something like that. And you reminded me there's a difference in positive thinking and positive believing. You said, I know the perimeters of my golf game. I know what I can do and how I can do it and when I can do it. I've never hit a ball like that in my life. That's not, that's not negative thinking. That's just positive believing. And it's always been the difference in you, Zig, with so many others. Some are into positive thinking. You've always been into positive believing because in your core was the Lord Jesus Christ who governed your life. And so I want to join these many others in thanking God for this new book that you've got coming out. You know, when I think of you, I think of what Asaph, the psalmist, said of King David in Psalm 78, 72, when he said that David served and led with the integrity of his heart and the skillfulness of his hands. Those two characteristics, Zig, have manifested themselves through your life. Integrity and excellence. The integrity of your heart and the skillfulness of your hands. Thank God for you, and thank God for your new book, Born to Win. And if anybody was ever born to win, it was Zig Ziglar. And we thank you for sharing with us so we too uh, can be successful along life.